Hey honey bunches, it's time! Finally, we're doing my own version, although, you know, the process kind of does overlap to others, of vegan smoked salmon, and I'm also showing you how to make some bellinis to go with them, but obviously you could have it on a bagel, on a rosti, all options would be fab. So I've been really wanting to make this since I heard about it, because a vegan fish is, I guess, the one part or the one animal product is a little hard to recreate unless you have like artichoke crab cakes or v-bite fishless uh, fish burgers um i'm sure there's many other options too but this is a seriously accurate amazing version of smoked salmon that is 98 percent exactly the same so as you can see i've covered it in salt so it's not touching the ends the carrots can touch one another but you don't want them to touch the tin so you cover them in a heck of a lot of salt and you cook them for a one and a half hours at about 180 degrees celsius and then leave it to cool a bit so you can handle the tin and then turn it out on a tray the salt will have had clumped together and the carrots you you put in the tin wet so they do um, let out some juice as well and yeah it will appear like a rock and you'll be like what have I done um, you can reuse this salt you just have to smash it up so smash it up a little to release all the carrots and then it still will be quite hot so just let it uh, finish cooling for a little bit longer this recipe has I guess a lot of steps that you might not have um, might seem a bit new and daunting but seriously there's like really minimal um, Things to do it's mainly just setting and forgetting so once the carrots are cool take them out brush off the salt wash off the salt as well and then you want to peel them and peel them as best as you can honestly I found this quite difficult I use small organic carrots and I think that might have been the problem um, because they were a bit small and they were a bit um, more flimsy not as much structure to them but you can get like three quarters of the skin off quite easily you just have to kind of uh, hoof it out of your peel up quite often and you can also pick off the skin that works too but yeah you could also just leave the skin on i really don't think the flavor would be impacted it would only be the appearance but look it it turns out pretty smoked salmon in appearance too so you do you just keep it chill and easy and non-daunting so cut off top and tail them and then slice them however you want i sort of went on a diagonal pattern because um, I thought that'd be nice. You could also just chop them up in like cross section um, bits. Then you want to make them arenade. So that's made out of very simple ingredients. Olive oil, that's liquid smoke, which is pretty available at health food stores or online lately. Um, red wine vinegar, tamari or soy sauce, and dried dill. Dried dill give it, give it, gives it a fabulous fishy um, kick along. And when you pair this with the red onion, the vegan cream cheese, even more fresh dill, um, some capers as well. Yeah, you're going to be pretty fooled. So then I put the lid on and I just gently sort of tumbled it around. I thought this was a good way of um, evenly coating the carrots in the marinade, like instead of a spoon. Because if you do it with a spoon, you might just break them up a little bit because they are a little fragile. So you put that in the fridge to marinate for a couple of days. And then this was on the day of eating. I made the blini, so it's pretty much flour. Uh baking powder and buckwheat and then you want to make a buttermilk out of plant-based milk and apple cider vinegar let that sit for a little bit then I added a little bit of grapeseed oil you could easily make this oil free a little splash of maple syrup just to balance out the flavors um, I don't know I just put a little dribble of maple syrup probably isn't crucial but I think it works nice then you want to mix it up and you'll end up with a really thick batter. I didn't show it there, but it will be really thick and then they'll puff up really nicely. Don't put too much batter in. You want them to be bite size. Um, and yeah, they're your blini. I also put dill in them. I forgot to film this. I did make the blinis a couple of times just to get the recipe right, but I only filmed the first time. So yeah, the full recipe will be on the blog. So also great ways yeah, to have these would be on a bagel or on a rossi, as I said. And... I cut up some red onion really finely and broke them up so it wasn't just a clump of onion, it was like little, well, what do you call that, slices? Moon, half moons, yes. Um, and that's the carrot after a couple of days. Um, as you like bring it to room temperature, the oil will s sort of melt, um, whatever the right word is for that, um, and they'll sort of get it shiny again and their smoked salmon look will come through. 
So yeah, I used Tafuti cream cheese on the base. Um, Tafuti on its own, I'm not a super big fan of. I don't know, it just it tastes good, but it sort of tastes like nothing. But here, seriously, it shines here. Um, it's amazing. You could also make a cashew cream cheese, I'm sure. But heck, look at that, yum. I made this and fed it to uh, like grandparents. I fed it to family friends, to family. Um, vegans and non-vegans alike who are very skeptical also people who tried it who didn't know that they were eating carrot smoked salmon were all fooled and very impressed and seriously you can see my facial expressions it is so ridiculously tasty you've seriously got to try it um yeah i always found the texture of actual smoked salmon a little really fatty and a bit off-putting in that way a bit sickeningly um not greasy but yeah just really oily and rich but this is just so much better like it is a little oily i suppose from the olive oil but really there's not that much um on the whole thing it makes about a cup and a half of carrot slices and you could just make um as many carrots fit into a dish i think i'm gonna do this in a larger dish and buy more salt and then just make a heck ton of it because really there's not much effort involved you've just got to set it and forget it but because it does take three to four days to marinate I, I'm gonna capitalize and make a lot more to impress people so that's it honey bunches the full recipe will be on the blog and thank you so much for watching as usual love you